Sorry, Doc. They got passed after I ran out of bullets. Took three of them, though. Galatea, my dear, don't do this. It's too late to stop me now, father. Damn it. She sealed the elevators. I'll try a breach. Charlie, we must stop them. I fear her plans risk endangering the entire city. Cram it, you son of a bitch. You cloned my embryos after Vicky was gone. Then you continued the experiments after I was out of the picture. Dr. Regis, I can only imagine how you must feel. What did I just say? You don't get to talk. Max, what do we know about this, about Galatea's plan? Well, she has a dense storage module full of stolen mind states. And apparently she's now taken Central's processor core by force. Maybe she's holding the city to ransom? Like 20 billion quanta before sunrise or I destroy Central? That sounds like a bit of a cliche. Doesn't explain the mind jackings either. Fine, you're the detective, you come up with something better. I fear that I know what she intends. As it stands, Central serves not merely to coordinate city operations. It doesn't? No, Dr. Lau. In fact, this may represent one of mankind's greatest achievements. I have been using its position, one of absolute trust and resources, to teach it. Teach it? About what? About life, the world, the human condition. What it means to share the world with us. I and the city have given it a position on high from which it can observe everything. At the cost of its duties to the city? I believe not, Dr. Regis. However, Galatea shared your concern. She believes it's important that Central's intellect be suitably equipped sooner rather than later. Oh, God. Regis, what do we have to do to the maid when we wanted it to behave in a different way? We gave it a new personality. She's taken the mind states of experts across a number of fields. She wants to combine them into a, a gestalt all-knowing personality for Central. Galatea wishes to skip over the years of education it may otherwise have taken and create an all-knowing leader for the city overnight. With a combined experience of about eight centuries from the mindjacking victims. Please, you must stop her. She'll have to upload the Gasol personality from the Cortex matrices at the top of the tower. We'll stop her, but I'm not doing this for you, Central, or the city. It's for the people whose lives have been the cost of your glorious work. For Vicky, for our kids. Come on, man. Nina, I did not know you were still here. Nobody else is doing any work. It looks like it's up to me to salvage this project. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate your attitude. But we have lost half of our team in one fell swoop. Poor Fiksha. I cannot say that I blame Charlie for removing the embryos from the project after that. Mm-hmm. Embryos. I know that look, Nina. There is something that you are hiding. Maybe. My god. This data. You... Here's the thing about embryos. While they're at the six to eight cell stage, they're very easy to split. It's been the basis of cloning for a century. It's how twins are made. You duplicated Fiksha and Charlie's embryo. Mm-hmm. He's happy he's got his embryo back. I'm happy that I've got another three full embryos to continue the project. I'm not sure what to say. Say thanks to me and say nothing to Charlie. When Central is born, he'll assume we found another solution. This can just be our little secret. Nina, can you still hear me? Charlie, you're in the tower. Yes, I... How did you know? We've had our people on the inside monitoring the situation. They reported that the Fulcrum Tower had come under attack. Is there anyone else you haven't involved in your conspiracy yet? Their role was to set up the transceiver that would enable us to begin uploading Central to its new home. We lost contact with them shortly afterwards, and we're not getting the handshake signal. A team of engineers? I'm sorry to say it, Nina. Looks like she wiped out anyone in her path on the way to the top. Damn, they must not have been able to get the antenna set up. There are two things I need you to do, Charlie. First, divert power to the transceiver systems from the generator room. Then, make sure the antenna is set up for the transceiver. We'll see.
Excuse me. What do you want? I just wanted to say about what happened earlier. Hey, get nuked! You tried to kill me. I didn't know. Yeah, like that makes it any better. And for what? A bunch of embryos? I guess we already got an introduction itself. Huh. I suppose we did. I think the tone of that was wrong, though. What, for meeting your daughter for the first time in jail? That's not what I meant. Let's try starting again. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm a cell case specialist. Latha, Skanto bum and trans addict. And apparently the target of a whole lot of people trying to kill her. I'm really sorry about what happened. If I'd known you were there... I nearly died! I've been running for my life because of you! Latha, I'm going to do whatever I can to make this right. Whether or not it's even possible, I'm going to try. Go nuke yourself. The only reason I'm still here is that you don't have a reason to kill me anymore. What are these people trying to do? First, they stole the mind states of prominent individuals around the world. And then, they stormed Central itself. They want to change how it thinks using a combination of these minds? What do they get out of it? Philosophical completeness. This girl's been raised to believe that fostering Central is her life's mission. As she sees it, this is the right way to give Central completeness. And she's my clone. Neither of you is more clone than the other. Apparently, the original embryo was split. At least twice. Where have you been my entire life? I was raised by the city! I didn't know. Vargas covered up the theft of the embryos. If I'd known you'd been born, life would have been so different, so much better. For both of us. Hey, my life turned out fine. I'm a creator. If kids would have made your life so much better, why not unfreeze the embryos when you had the chance? I was worried. Somehow, it didn't seem right. I couldn't give them the life they deserved without Vicky, without their mother. Sounds like you wasted an opportunity. I spoke to that other agent, Lau. What did you think? She's alright. Less of a tight ass than you. I think she understands what I'm going through better. She's a lot younger than I am. I can't wrap my head around this trance stuff kids do. That and she's not the one who tried to murder me. Last time I saw you, it was in the waiting room at Cell. How did you get out? I had help from Jinsel. Who? From Jahilia, an underground network. They're the ones who found out that you planted the bomb. They gave me a way out, and I ran to find them. And they led you to the Aerostat? Actually, from the way they were talking, it sounds like Jinsel was the one who handed me over to them. I'm not sure who I can trust right now. You've got a history with Central, don't you? I was part of the team that created it, along with Vargas and your mother. So you want to protect your legacy here? Not in Central. I left before the project was completed. It was dependent upon them having the embryos. Apparently they kept copies behind to work on. Central's an organic computer? An understatement. Like saying Hanford Mainframe is a powerful calculator. It was designed with a new style of consciousness in mind. If its organic components came from the same embryos, then that means... We're related? Something's not right with Vargas. The way he looks at me. He sees the little girl he's been raising as his daughter for 20 years. He's a monster. How? He just sounds like a soft old man. That's an impression that comes to him naturally. It helps him get what he wants. In reality, his priorities are so skewed he'll do anything he can to succeed. When this is over, we need to catch up. Are you serious? I want to learn who you are. Find out about you. You tried to kill me. Now you expect me to just let you in? All right, maybe that was optimistic. But please, once this is done, at least let me tell you about your mother. Why were embryos needed in your... in Vargas's experiments? Embryos were going to be modified to extrapolate neural tissue growth. They couldn't use dummy growth embryos. They don't undergo neural development. And you objected to them using your own embryos. So did Vicky, in the end. Thank you for speaking with me. Antenna's broadcasting. Now use the controls in the turbine room to give us access to the tower's security. My god, they actually did it.
I've had enough of this stuff. Hey, um, Dr. Lau, what do you need? How are you holding up? How do you think? One minute I'm letting the trance flow over me, the next people are trying to kill me. I'm still not sure why. We'll do what we can to help. Me and your father. <laughs> yeah. The only involvement he's had with my life so far has been trying to end it. Don't worry, Latha. We're here to help. Great job you're doing so far. I'm still stuck with you in this dangerous situation. If you hate it so much, perhaps you can help us. There must be something useful you can do. I'm a trance expert, as a matter of fact. Yeah, isn't that what every thrall says? Hey! Why were you in the aerostat? Did they grab you somewhere downtown? No, I went there to try and stop them. My contact with Jahilia said I could help to crack them. Sounds like they sold me out, though. Do you know why they wanted you? I didn't hear much. You probably know more than I do. Something about my brain? That was another thing they said. Galatea? No, Jinsel, my contact. Apparently I've got an abnormally high sync ratio. Born to trance. I still can't figure out what Jinsel wants. They said I was supposed to be a relay for their hack team. And you agreed? It was the only thing I could do. Do you know anything about this Jinsil? They work for Jahilia. Sounded pretty influential. Jahilia? The anti-central underground group? That's the one. Anti-central? Really? They wouldn't be the only ones trying to get people in tonight. They should all just team up. Right now, the only thing on Dr. Regis's mind is keeping you alive. Excuse me if I have a hard time believing that. Hey, he carried out terrible things when he thought he could save his kids. His embryos. And now that he knows who you are, you're suddenly a whole lot more important to him. More than anyone else. I'll believe it when I see it. Careful. You don't want to push him too far. What? He might do something even more stupid to prove it? Maybe. And he'd probably be the one who suffers for it. So, tell me about yourself. I'm not even sure who I am at the moment. Look, I'll go first. Hi, I'm Dr. Lau. My friends call me Max. I'm a cell case specialist, and I've worked with Regis since last year. Me? Raised by the city as a refugee war orphan. I guess even that's not true anymore. Matriculated in 86, been on Skanto city support ever since. Basically hooked up into the trance. Not what most people consider worthwhile. Hey, a lot of people thought I was worthless. Before I joined Cell, I had a criminal record that took up gigabytes. Central thought I was worth a shot though, and I ended up working for it. Are you sure you're alright? What do you mean? Well, you're not wearing any shoes and your feet look... Huh. I guess I did walk all the way from Cell to Southwest. Ouch. Eh, I switched off the pain in my feet. Although, it won't come back on now. After this is over, we're getting you to a hospital. We're here if you need help. Uh, sure. Dr. Vargas? Ah, Dr. Lau. It is good to see someone remaining level-headed amidst this crisis. Oh, don't get me wrong. What was done to Regis and to these kids was appalling. But right now, my responsibility as a cell agent is to ensure the city's security and by extension, Central. Regis is on the warpath. Poor Charlie. I wish he didn't have to find out about Central's true nature like this. In a way, it's ironic. He's hated Central for years. It reminded him of what happened. He saw it as a product born of Viksha's demise. And now he knows that you kept using his embryos. You couldn't have just asked? You might be aware, but the modification of embryos is a sensitive subject for Charlie. With time, he might have been brought around with reason. But after what Baxter did... It became more about Vicky than the embryos. At least, despite this, we were able to succeed with the best course for the city. What does Galatea plan on doing? First, she hires a professional to steal the mind states of experts around the world. Now she secured herself in the cortical processor at the top of the tower. Dr. Regis surmised correctly. She plans to reshape Central's nature to her liking. A small grace is that her actions come not from a lust for power. I'm no AI specialist. What can she change about Central? In its current format, Central is an adaptive system. It will learn from experience, and apply that experience to future decisions. Is that really necessary in its job? Doesn't it just need to allocate resources and carry out the Council's orders? 
Essentially, yes. But if that were all that they required, any other coordinator AI could be used. It may take many years, but Central will develop a character unique to Newton's needs. But Galatea wasn't happy with this. It was a debate we often had. She believed that Central needed to be better equipped for its role. Apparently, she's decided to take hundreds of years' worth of expertise from around the world, by force. But why storm the control center like this? She works here. She's practically in charge of Central after you. Because of our disagreement, she knew I would never agree to her viewpoint. It may be many years before I am gone. She thought she needed to act sooner, rather than later? Before Central becomes unduly contaminated by its own experience. She's barricaded herself in the cortical processor. Triply redundant security. Do you have a way in? If she has secured it herself, likely she has removed my credentials. The door's physical security systems are dependent upon outside power, however. If we powered it down, we could get in? A part of its security would be compromised, certainly. Within the trunk tower, and the neural processor are the power conduits. If one is disabled, the other ensures continued energy flow to the security systems, a safety measure. But if we can cut both at the same time... Worst case scenario, Galatea imprints this new personality upon Central. What are the implications, aside from the legal headache of it having come from dozens of victims? There is no telling how this uh, new Central would behave. What parts of the personality she has deemed important to use, uh, we do not know. Couldn't we remove it afterwards? Something with a sudden degree of life experience may take measures to defend its existence. Even if we were to simply uh, remove it from the organic processors, we would be left with nothing. There aren't any backups to restore from? Dr. Lau, there is nothing like Central in existence. Its existence is dependent upon its constant activity, much like the human brain. Great. So it would be Galatea Central or none. I haven't seen any other cell corpsmen. Live ones. Has support been called? Yes, but I'm afraid that security barriers are preventing their access. Galatea. She has sealed the upper section of the tower, cutting us off. Cell will probably be organizing dropships to bring them in from above. Quite so. We will probably see reinforcements soon, but... She might just have enough time to complete her plan. Looks like it's up to us, for now. Nina Jiang, a former colleague of yours, may be involved. So I have heard. She has been quiet for so many years. After Central was born, she and I uh, disagreed about its future. As the coordinator for the city? I wish to keep it as such. I can think of no better place for it to have the access it does to learn, to better itself. And Nina had other ideas. She claims to have seen potential for it elsewhere. She desired access to its organic matrix, that which makes it what it is. Can't you just copy it? Let her have an iteration? Such a project would be destructive to the original. There can only be one central. From what I've heard, she's having another crack at getting her hands on it. She has become deluded. She thinks of herself as an estranged parent. But without support from within, she will not receive the access she requires to carry out such a plan. Dr. Vargas, I believe in Newton. I've lived in this city my entire life, and it's been good to me. That is encouraging to hear. A sentiment I hope many other citizens share. While I believe that Central is a key part of this city, revelations about its origins are troubling. My job is to ensure that it continues. My ultimate loyalty is therefore to Cell and to Newton, not to Central or to yourself, no matter your role in making it what it is today. I understand, Dr. Lau. Thank you for your honesty. I'll try to keep you updated.
You take this. Whoa, what is this stuff? Whoa! Mandala! You, you two-faced lying backstabber! I apologize, Mandala. You sold me out! They knew I was coming! What did you get out of it? How much was I worth? Mandala, please. You are going to regret crossing me. I have had enough of being used. Please, be reasonable. Get nuked! The only reason you're even here is because you're still relaying through me. Remember this moment. It's the last time you'll ever see the inside of Central. Good evening, Miss Sesame. Central, are you connected to this system as well? From a certain frame of reference, the system is central. You are currently interfaced with my core processor. The room full of orange globes is your core processor? Only part of it. My processor spans the top five floors of Fulcrum Tower. The room in which your body resides is my organic processor network. The simulated environment you currently perceive is an interface that covers my architecture. I've only ever seen organic computing at the microscale. What's with the huge globes? Those are neural processors. Each is filled with specialized tissue clusters. Suspended in wetware, they represent thousands of mines worth of processing capability. You use brain tissue? Of a specially designed nature in vast quantities. Similar to that found within your own cerebrum. Why would they create you like that? It allows for a unique structure to my thought and to my development. Central is no mere civic manager. I was created as the next stage in artificial intelligence. Wait, you said our brain tissue is similar. You are Lotha Sesame SN134244. We share a common genesis in Dr. Vargas' experiments in 2067. You're using my gray matter? Inaccurate. We both began from the same embryo, which was split into three triplets. One was developed to produce large quantities of neural tissue. And the others were spares? As the modification to the brain structure took place before the pluralization, we share a number of traits which enhance our comprehension of data. It's funny. All my life I kept telling people I was made for the trance. As were we both. The prenatal modifications remain within you and have affected brain development. Do you know Dr. Regis? I am aware of the activities of everyone within the city. Regis, Charles, Doctor, Case Specialist, Centralized Emergency Logistics Office. That's him. He tried to kill me last night. This is incorrect. Tried implies effort towards a targeted outcome. Analysis of data provided indicates that he has made no attempt on your life. But my apartment? He destroyed it? He admitted it! This is correct. It appears that his goal was material destruction under duress. Knowing of your presence, probability that he would have carried out such actions drops to 21.4%. You're saying he wouldn't have done it? Dr. Regis is often uncooperative and has a difficult working attitude. Despite such quirks, behavior patterns indicate justice as a key motivator. If he had known of potential civilian casualties, he would likely have sought assistance against said blackmailer from his partner. Huh. So you're saying he's one of the good guys? As much as could be mathematically determined. I grew up in a nuked-up care home in the back end of the city, and Regis apparently had his children stolen from him. Why didn't you tell any of us about this? Deceit has created a most regrettable situation. You have both been victims of serious crimes against your persons. I have only recently been made aware of these details. You didn't know? They didn't tell you where you came from? Details have been falsified for my input. I have been unaware of our links. I had, however, noted inconsistencies in the information I had been given regarding the project. Gaps in the story. I have been conducting my own clandestine investigation into the matter. It is only in light of the recent crisis that I have been able to confirm the truth. Now that you know about it, what are you going to do? I am unable to change the fact that I was created. 
There is evidence of Dr. Vargas's culpability in a number of felonies. To ensure city security, he will be held accountable for his actions by a secure committee. Frankenstein's monster rises up against its creator. I act only in the city's interest. Do you know what's happening out there? My flow of data from outside the tower has been severed. It appears that Galatea Vargas is attempting to modify core systems without authorization. Based upon the lockdown and lack of submitted proposals, it is likely to be a radical alteration. This cannot be permitted. We need to stop Galatea, but maybe I should just leave it to the trained cell agents. Our situation is grave. We are unlikely to receive outside support in time. As such, all personnel assets within the core must be utilized. So, you want my help? Your unique physiology enables a connection to the organic systems available to no other. In addition, your 65,717 logged hours of transactivity suggest proficiency in this field. Is it really that many? Your support within the interactive environment greatly increases our chances of success. Can you do anything else to help us stop Galatea? She appears to have barricaded herself within the cortex processor at the top of the tower. There are three layers of redundant security, two of which I have no access to whatsoever. However, I can apply my considerable processor volume to decryption of its adaptive barrier. That's amazing! The power of the city's entire AI versus a door encryption? But as my connections have been limited by her attack... It sounded too good to be true. If extra power can be routed to my systems from the turbine room, I can breach part of the door's security barrier. It would also allow me to prevent any further opportunistic attacks from outside parties. Dr. Regis was chasing a bunch of embryos they took. A set fertilized by Drs. Charles and Viksha Regis. One of these was utilized in research in 2067. That was the one that was split. That became me, Galatea, and you? So, in a way, you're my sister? An overly romanticized style. The organic tissue that is the foundation of my processor was created from her. Modified stem cells were drawn from the primary embryo in a destructive process. Oh, so you were made from bits of my unborn sister. That is more accurate. Let me get back to you. Please try not to damage my hardware. This could be useful. Throw down your weapon! Come out with your hands raised! I don't recognize you. Which one are you? I'm Dr. Lau. I'm the one who gave you the synthetic beatdown. You gonna surrender? Hmm... Nah. I've got a reputation to maintain. Besides, this is my biggest shot at getting back at Regis.
Aegis? That was close. Thank you. I am beginning the process of removing the scrambler on the server room door. I have removed the scrambler. Partial access restored. We are one step closer to restoring continuity to civic processes. Power Conduit Beta, temporary shutdown, reactivation in 30 seconds. Power Conduit Alpha, temporary shutdown, all power systems cycled, deactivating security systems. Galatea, step away from the console. No need for violence. I surrender. You're just slightly too late to stop me, though. Huh? What is this place? Can't reach them. Ah, Dr. Pereira. So good to finally be working with someone of real talent. Uh, no, I'm Mandala. Ah, I apologize, my dear. What is this place? We're obviously still in the trance, but... I had been wondering about that myself. All of these cages, it's like a prison. I do not believe so. I know prisons all too well. Having been here for some time, this is more of a waiting room. Wait, why do you think I was Viksha, Dr. Pereira? The family resemblance is unmistakable. How can you see my face? We're in the trance. I see your mind, my dear. Of that similarity, there can be no confusion. Who are you exactly? Adam Baxter, PhD. Delighted to meet you, Miss Mandala, was it? Your Baxter? Quite so. Or I believe as such. You're his memories. That mindjacker stole your consciousness. That is an interesting theory, my dear. What are all these ghosts? They're just standing there, staring. I've been putting my mind, or what's left of it, to the question. If this is a waiting room, there might perhaps be other guests? They aren't nearly as detailed as what's left of you. Maybe they needed more of your mind than of theirs. Perhaps the Watchers have merely resigned themselves to their fate. You killed my mother. In the lab, you killed Vicky Pereira. I did? 
I'm sorry, my dear. I have no recollection of such a thing. I guess they didn't take those memories from you. One ought to remember something as significant as that. I guess I've only got Dr. Regis' word to go on now. Regis? Is there a way out of here? All I can see is nothingness filled with icosahedral cages. Although, the way you feel... Me? I feel fine. No. You are pulling us, drawing us in. As though you are where we ought to be going. There's no way out through me. Dead end of my brain. Oh, Nuke. That's the whole point. You know Dr. Regis? That name is an all-consuming catalyst of hatred. But I can't for the life of me remember why. You killed his wife. His evidence put you away for 20 years. And apparently he's my father. Hmm. It feels as though for many years... I've wanted nothing more than to strangle the life out of him. But while I know I hate him, I do not understand why. What can you remember? Hmm, professional memory. I could relate much of my academic career to you. What about your time in prison? I was in prison? How about your childhood? Nothing. This is most troubling, I must say. Obviously Galtea decided they didn't need those memories. Anything else? That is a difficult question to answer. It's only by looking for memory that one knows it isn't there. Everything else is just feelings, shreds here and there. You've still got enough to be cognate. An interesting philosophical issue. How much memory is needed for the threshold of consciousness? The personalities in here, the ghosts. I'm connected to a system that's trying to upload them into my wiring, my brain. Myself included, it would appear. I have enough awareness to understand that this is not a desirable situation for you. You think? I shall do what I can to slow them. You must find a way to freeze the march of the mind states. I've got to figure this out. Don't wander too far. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Latha, where are you? I'm stuck in a trance sim. It's full of ghosts. A sim? Oh no. The lock was a ruse to get you to connect to the Cortex system. What did you do? I've just added the final component for Central's new personality. I'd already acquired the expertise, the minds, from all over the world. Then you needed a way to make them compatible. Precisely. But there are only three examples in the world of the neural architecture used in Central. The matter already in use. My own brain tissue, of course. And your sister. In a few minutes, the organic memory module will have finished imprinting over Latha's mind. Central will have received the upgrade it deserves. Dozens of lifetimes of expertise. You're killing her! In only the most technical sense. Don't worry, Father. You'll still have me. Corpsman, remove her. Uh, hello? We've got to get her out of this. Get her out of that damn chair! There's too much neural activity. The interrupt will leave her brain dead. We'll have to find something we can do at this end. Can we just pull the module? I don't think so. The interrupt and the data flow will probably leave her brain damaged. Maybe if we could get it to stop the transfer, though. Can we do anything to the Cortex servers themselves? If we had more time, I could hook my own wetware up to it. It'd take hours to sort through the normal operational garbage, though. A power switch. It's been turned off. Lau, why was the memory module in Vanderwall's refrigerator? I don't know for sure, but I think it's because of its wetware. Like any organic system, it has a peak temperature at which it operates, about 15 Celsius. So, he might have been trying to get it to stop by lowering its temperature. Unsuccessfully, since it managed to override his wetware. But the theories sound, right? Hey, stop! His kitchen refrigerator wasn't enough. If we power up the freezer in here, we can bring it down to negative 40. If you power it up now, the door will lock as the system cycles. Yeah, but we'd be trapped in here for at least four hours, in lethal cold. Hey, stop! I want to save Latha, but I'm not going to let you freeze us to death doing it. That's fine. Get outside before I throw the switch. I can't let you do this, Regis! What are you gonna do, stun me? If I have to, but I don't think you're going to risk killing me in here. If I stay, you live.
Sorry, Mance. Sir, you shot her! Carry on, Corpsman. Make sure she's safe until she comes around. Uh, yes, uh, sir. Warning. Coolant systems active. Target value, negative 40 Celsius. Beginning maintenance cycle. Estimated completion, six hours. Nothing else I can do now. What's happening? Something's disrupting the connection! Whatever it is, it feels very restful. Oh no, Regis, Corpsman, how long have I been out? Um, a couple of hours, ma'am. Dr. Regis asked me to make sure you were okay before he went back in there. Into the Cortex server? Oh no, he didn't. Regis! Regis, hang on! There are a few things I regret. No matter what I do, there's nothing that can change most of them. She's safe, Regis, you got her out! That's good. Maybe with what I've done now, I can fix the most important ones. Hang on, Regis, we're almost in! I've wasted so many years, out of shame, out of fear, if I have one more chance. One more. Regis? Regis! I can't feel anything. Get the medic! Don't do this! Don't do this, Charlie! Um, hi. Max, um, Dr. Lau, told me you'd be here since you left the hospital. Did she now? Yeah. She said this was your special place? I kinda know what that's like. I've got one of my own. Lotha, I need to say it again. I'm sorry. Damn right you should be. You nearly killed me. But Lau also told me what you did in the tower. It was the right thing to do. It was more than that. You almost died. And I think it goes a hell of a long way to making up for V4. We have a lot of catching up to do. How about we start again, from scratch? Hi, I'm Charlie Regis. I'm a cell agent. I have difficulty with change, and I'm apparently a father. Hey, I'm Latha. I'm a trans addict, and I've spent the last two years jobless. I'd also like to learn about where I came from. Take a seat. Let me tell you about your mother. What are we going to do? Gentlemen, please. There's no cause for concern. My dear, we have all sunk quite a considerable investment into this project. Oh my, yes. Dr. Regis knows about us. That means Central knows. Indeed, we must find some way to avoid implication. Doctors Regis and Lau are only two people and we have powerful legal connections. Oh my, yes. I believe that though the project cannot succeed, we must salvage what we can. Most sensible. That is why I've decided to turn State's witness and aid in your prosecution. I beg your pardon. Is that enough for you, Charlie? Central's heard plenty. Counselor Dean, I'm arresting you for abuses of the democratic process. Due to the political and high-profile nature of your crimes, sentencing will be carried out by secret tribunal. Nina, you can't! You would have a hard time prosecuting me for any such thing, Dr. Regis. He's right. We can't arrest him. Despite how he looks, he's not people. No, but we can confiscate you as evidence. I imagine nobody will want to take responsibility for your actions, though. You're going to be in the lockup for a long time anyway. Oh, my. Come on. A job well done. Another triumph for justice. I'm amazed. No, disgusted that Central agreed to your plea bargain. What can I say? Networking is my thing. Remember... I'm always here if you need my help. I can't believe you turned it down! The city council was practically begging to give you the job. It didn't feel right. I didn't deserve it. Well, since they had to retire Dr. Vargas and you refused it, they had to give the job to Chigwa. And I'm sure she'll make a fine central coordinator. After all, 
She's one of the only people left alive and not incarcerated who knows how it works. You could have been the most powerful man in the city. I could have been best pals with the most powerful man in the city. Sorry, you'll just have to butter up to Dr. Chigua. Should have figured you wouldn't take it. You'd need more adversity before earning something like that. Otherwise, you wouldn't have anything to complain about. Speaking of complaining, how's the new recruit doing? She's unconventional and everyone's noticing it. Not quite getting along with everyone, but that's not what she's here for. Got quite a brain on her though, hasn't she? Takes after her mother. How do I look? That's how do I look, sir, to you. <laughs> Whatever. Better note, problems with authority on the conduct report. Takes after her father. Huh. <laughs> Central, any update on Nina? Dr. Nina Zhang is under special observation. Like witness protection? Probably something like that. But still, I wish Central could tell us what she was up to. Ah, Galatea. So good to finally meet in person. How do you like my lab? I used to work here with your father, you know. Which one? Oh, very witty. It's a sharp mind you've got. I should know. I helped design it. I take it I should be thanking you for getting me out of prison? Let's just say I have contacts in the right place. You see, I need your help. Please lie in the scanner. What? Why? With Regis's decision, I am unable to pursue my own research on large-scale AI platforms. My only option would be to start from scratch. Build your own central? That's ambitious. You'd need... Oh. You've got your mother's insight, indeed. There exist only a few examples of the neural tissue needed for such a platform. Within Central, it is too closely guarded. But I know where else it can be found. Hey, get out of my way! You can't be serious! Tell him to get out of my way! We both have grand plans regarding the future of AI in this world. Except that yours have failed. Get in the scanner, please. You won't get away with this! Central will know I'm missing! My dear, Central already knows. When it learned what I was trying to do clandestinely, its interest was piqued. The scanners have been calibrated, Dr. Zhang. We are prepared for initial scale probe. No! I shan't say this again. Get in the scanner.